And this is a love story. And we yeah. don't often see really good filmmakers telling love stories. So why, have you always wanted to make a love story? Or? I think so. I, you know, it's um, interesting how love challenges us when it comes to defining ourselves. And I think a lot of the films that I've made up until now deals a lot with sense of identity and loss and who are who am I and at this stage in life and so forth and so in this film I wanted to kind of make a story about a young person Julie she's about to turn 30 and she's kind of lost in the situation where she doesn't know how to appreciate herself and she doesn't know how to figure out her love life and I there's a tradition in cinema that's dealing with love as an existential question. If you look back at George Cukor's wonderful films from the 30s and 40s, or Eric Romer, now that we are in France, you know, there's, there's this kind of tradition of using love as a theme for something more than just two people kissing. So I guess on some level, that's what we're trying here. Is Julie inspired by any real women you know, or how did she come to life? That's a good question. It's strange because I always start, when I write with Eskil Fucht, who I always write these films with, you know, we, we start talking about people we know, we start talking about themes that we care about, and I think the story here started almost like a two-hander between Axel, who is played by Anders Daniels Lee, and as we come into the film, they meet, they fall in love, and Julie. But after a while, we're like, we kind of done a bit of that character that he's doing. With her, there was something new, and there was something new to explore. So I don't really know. I, I, you try to put yourself into the characters you write, you know, and I, I hope it comes out truthful somehow. And you and Esco work together amazingly well. How does that process work? We, we sit in the room all the time, actually, at the beginning, the first often six months, and discuss many ideas. Uh, we come in with ideas we've had perhaps outside the room, but we are eager to tell each other. And we try to talk about what kind of movies, what kind of scenes, what kind of specific images, what kind of characters, you know. And it's a very free, open dialogue. Then after a while, we start structuring the story and the characters, and it kind of falls into place. And at that stage, Eskel starts writing more. He's a, he's a much more gifted writer in, in actual fact than I am, I think. Uh, why did you think they were right for these characters? The interesting thing about Renate Ranswe is she's been doing a lot of great theater work, and she's also done uh, smaller parts in movies and, and TV series, but she hasn't really been given that great lead that I was expecting her to have had many years ago. So it's almost like at some point I was thinking, who do I want to work with in Norway? And she was sort of top of the list. So that was something that played into also why we wanted to make this story. This type of European film, which is financed from Norway, Sweden, Denmark, France, you know, it's, it's a real collaboration in terms of financing and producers who really fought to get the film sold to TV and to show it in the cinemas, you know, in, in those countries. I, it's, it's good to have this moment uh, of celebration around the film. Yeah. And as we mentioned, Eskul is also here yeah. with The Innocents. How yeah. does it feel, you know, you two big guns of Norwegian cinema being in Cannes together? Is that fun? A really great thing about this year's can is, is the fact that Eskil is here with Innocence, which uh, I haven't seen the finished version and I'm looking so much forward to it. He's showing it on Sunday, so I'm staying on, of course, and, and I'm going to be there and root for him. And uh, I, I mean, I, I, what can I say? I think he's a great director, he's a great filmmaker, and I, I'm looking so much forward to it. And being those two guys who, who went to strange art movies from other countries in the world and discussed them late at night over beer, you know, suddenly we're here and we're screening with other films from around the world. So it's, it's a really big deal for us. I think that's a wonderful place to wrap. Uh, thank you so much, Joaquin, for being here, chatting to us on the Scandinavian Terrace. And good luck thank you. with those 2,000 plus people. Yeah, yeah.